But first, the CIA secrets. Tyler Drumhauer is the former head of CIA operations in Europe. Bob Baer is a former CIA officer and joins us by telephone. Thomas Blanton, who's also with me, is with the National Security Archive. Let me go, Tyler, right now. I am fascinated. Are we going to find out how many times we tried to kill Castro, whether we killed Trujillo, whether we knocked off Arbenz, whether we knocked off Mossadegh over in, in, in Iran? How much are we going to find out in the next couple of days? Well, if this really is the family jewels, as they call them, were put together by uh, William Colby and uh, at first by Helms at the end during the church hearings and at the end of the uh, of the Nixon administration, the Ford administration. Yeah, that'll all be in there. Yeah, that's it's all there. It's been put together for years. And Tom, yep. These are, are you? Are we? Should we be as optimistic about getting all this mischief out in public, all these attempted assassinations, and all this dirty work? Yep, because General Hayden showed up to speak to the diplomatic historians, and he had to give them something. Otherwise, they were going to boo him out of the room. And so he presented them with some declassifications. Much to their credit, it takes guts to put your dirty laundry out in public. But what we're going to find are, in effect, the senior CIA officers fessing up. Because what happened They're was, all dead now, right? Everybody's done all the dirty work. Many dead. The CIA directors are. But a CIA director comes to the office one morning in 1973 and finds out a couple of his old buddies were part of the Watergate burglary and says, wait a second, why am I reading this in the paper? What else bad have we ever done? And he says to every single senior CIA officer, send me a memo. I want to know the dirt. I want but the bad CIA, stuff. But the CIA, it wasn't That's active CIA agents who, who broke into Watergate, was it? Nope, it was Hunt and McCord were former part of that CIA. team. They were former, but uh, they had help from the agents. Bob Baird, before I go to the, uh, the evidence we have so far, I want to ask you, how important is this disclosure? Are we going to find out our history of dirty work, of killing people, trying to kill people, overthrowing governments? Oh, I think it's all going to come out. We suspected this for a long time, and enough of it has leaked out in the press. Um, I'd like to say that it's a, it's a good idea to get this stuff out, to know the worst, in order to get the CIA back on track, to make it quit doing the same things. I know that Kennedy, uh, Nixon, tried desperately to find out what his predecessor and rival, Jack Kennedy, had done and Rob Bobby had done with regard to knocking off Castro, with regard to withdrawing air cover from the Cuban uh, exiles in the Bay of Pigs. Let's go through a couple of things we know already. In 1975, Secretary of State Henry Kissinger told President Ford, quote, Helms, he was head of CIA, said all these stories are just the tip of the iceberg. If they come out, blood will flow. For example, Robert Kennedy personally managed the operation on the assassination of Castro. <clears throat> Here's Jim Colby. He told President Ford back in the 70s, quote, we did, a, we did have a New York and Los Angeles program in the 50s of opening up first-class airmail from the USSR. For example, we have four letters to Jane Fonda. That is illegal. And we stopped it in 1973. In San Francisco, we had one with respect to China to find out who the contacts were. Some letters were opened. Finally, Jim Colby, the CIA director, said Bill. to the president, Bill Colby, said to the president, quote, we have run operations to assassinate foreign leaders. We have never succeeded. He cited Castro Trujillo of Dominican Republic, General Snyder of Chile, etc. There's another skeleton. A defector we suspected of being a double agent we kept confined for three years. Let me go through them all. Tom Blanton, is it generally the scuttlebutt at the CIA that we tried to knock off Castro many times? Oh, absolutely. And actually, there's a whole report by the CIA inspector general that reads like a movie script, all the different scenes. You know, the day that John F. Kennedy was assassinated, a CIA agent was in Paris giving a poison pen to one of Desmond his assets. Desmond Fitzgerald. Nope. Uh, it, was, it wasn't Desmond Fitzgerald. It was at his orders. And Under the on, orders that, of on, that very, on that very day, um, a mission, uh, uh, French journalist was in Havana meeting with Fidel Castro with a different message for Fidel, which was, we want to get talking. These are the two tracks of American policy. What we're about to get next week is the dirty track.